What other sport has a, a I've done it again. Of people? <laughs> you know what? I've done it again. <laughs> but, Recording in progress. I've done it again. I don't know. Never mind. Carry on. <laughs> I mean, I've been recording my rant. I'm just, I'm, I'm gutted, sir, that my rant hasn't gone live to the nation. Right. But, you know, it's time now to repeat for those people who couldn't see this. Um, we need a system whereby a certain number of yellow cards ends in a ban for a game. A red card is an automatic two, ba- two game ban, no matter what it's for. Yeah. Get rid of the disciplinary panel because I can't think of many other sports where a game is watched back with the deliberate intention of looking to ban players. And in slow motion. I mean, sometimes, I mean, I say this all the time, uh, some of some of these, I mean, it's like video refs in terms of double movements and was it a try, wasn't it yeah. a try. Sometimes, you know, you, you slow it down. I always remember that great line in JFK, Kevin Costa, that you can prove that an elephant can dangle from a cliff with its tail tied to a daisy, you know, that science can do that. And it's the same with rugby league slow motions. You know, if you want to go and look for it, you can go and find it. But actually in real time, it's like, it's like these head-eye tackles, you know, the, the one that we saw with um, uh, for, for IMO, for Hull, oh, yeah. where, where in real time, you know, the guy's going down. Yeah, it's, it's reckless. It is reckless. You know what? It probably is a simbin. You know, it probably nothing is. More. But it's come on. more than that. Yeah, yeah. We're, um, we're talking inches. We're you know, and, and I think I think I'm right in saying, I think I've read tonight that Warrington are appealing it. That's... Oh, God, that's three games. It, it's going to be three games, games then. Yeah, that's three yeah. games. Good evening what? to Graham Parrish. Graham's always good to have Graham along, isn't it? And yeah. uh, Ryan Tunningly is with us as well. Good evening, Ryan. Um, yeah, let us know your comments, guys. Get in the get in the so chat. I'd, I'd like to know what the what other supporters think of that. Absolutely. Point system. Similar to, I think the 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 Aussies have that a point system. Yeah. Get rid, get rid. It's not fit. The discipline the discipline panel is not fit for purpose. I think it's been proven yeah. this season. And Absolutely. yeah, I'm all for players' welfare. Well, player welfare. Get rid get rid of the six again rule, where Players are, you know, they get speeding the game up. Tony Smith spoke out against it this week, and I agree with him. It was good while COVID was on and we couldn't have scrums. We've got scrums back now. So if it's an infringement of the rook, it's a penalty like it always was. Let's, we're talking about player welfare, then stop speeding the game up. Mate. I mean, the mad thing about that, I mean, how, how can, I mean, it happened, a, I think it happened a couple of times on Friday. It's happened in a lot of televised games as well this year, where, you know, the, the referee is going six again when the attacking team is inside their own 10 metres. What's the advantage of that? Exactly, exactly. It's and a Catalan were, very, Catalan were very, very clever. That last five minutes when we're coming back, they'd yeah. take six again, another six again. Yeah. If they were getting penalised for it and we were banging yeah. two points over and suddenly the gap's not six, it's two, well, I tell, I tell you, for me, for me, the six, the six again rule should be when the attacking team is in the is in uh, the attacking like in the defending half of the field. Then, yeah, because you've got momentum, you know, you've got momentum. So actually, you know, to go six again at that point, if you're certainly if you're inside the forty, of, the forty of the oppositions are, you've got momentum. Yeah, go six again because yeah. actually that could be more advantageous because you've got the momentum. Some of the players might not be back in the line. It could actually create more tries. But actually, six again in your own half. I'm sorry. I think yeah. any team, any coach would say, give us a penalty so we can kick to touch. I mean, it's just it's a, it's a hideous rule. Good evening to yeah. uh, Sean. Alan Spencer of uh, Wake. Well, last last week he was asking us what we thought of the Wakefield uh, sending off, as I recall. Uh, Steve Carlis is saying this will be the, the EAR over at Rugby League. It's a joke. Charlie was a non-event. Who yeah. spotted it in the game? The answer, nobody. Oh, um, anyway, no, you did a link there. You did a link there. I don't know if you realise you did a link there. You did, you, did, you did a nice little link to Australia. Um, so could have been scripted, sir. Could have been scripted. Uh, the NRL is back. Obviously, we talked Super League on here, but it's a bit wrong of us not to mention how much rugby league fair you've got coming up this week, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, incredible to have the NRL back. Uh, Thursday, it kicks off at five past nine in the morning. The champions, the Penrith Panthers, who have got a new sponsorship deal, KFC. Uh, Manly Sea Eagles is who they go up against. Uh, Trevojevic. Uh, maybe taking on Cleary there. They're not sure if Cleary's going to make it or not. Yeah. Then on Friday, yeah. it's my team, the Sydney South Sydney Rabbitohs, go to the Brisbane Broncos. No Reynolds in that. He's not going to be there to face his, his former club. And actually, the League Express saying that they believe the Rabbitohs are favourites. I mean, that's very generous, and I'm a Rabbitohs fan. Uh, and Brisbane, then uh, Brisbane have had a, a few poor seasons. They have, and they're always there thereabouts, but I think Penrith, I mean, it's hard to go back to back over there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, but anyway, and of course, you can't have a count out Melbourne, can you? Melbourne are always there, thereabouts. Yeah. And then finally, on Saturday, you've got West Tigers, Melbourne Storm at 8.35. And of course, we'll say this again later on, 
and two Super League games on Saturday. So three live games on Saturday, which is good. Two live games on Thursday, two live games on Friday. Get your Sky Record remotes recording them. And uh, when the wife's out, get them on. That's oh, Unless your wife likes Rugby League. And then, by all means, invite us to watch. International Women's Day, Dave. Come on. Indeed. You know me. Always uh, always a safe bet on such occasions. Uh, so, uh, so, yeah, happy days, happy days. So, Sky, speaking of Sky... Um, going to a 3 p.m. kickoff on Saturday, they're going to be showing yeah. the Castleford game. I wonder yeah. why. I wonder why that know. is. No, oh, mate, I don't know. Has there been uh, has there been anything recently where where a Saturday game has got a really good TV viewing audience? Audience? Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe. Uh, yeah, maybe. Is, is yeah. it the last weekend of um, the the Six Nations? Mayhaps. Interesting, mate, isn't it? Okay. Hey, um, um, unbelievable. Who knew? Showing a rugby league game at three o'clock on a Saturday. Well, well, hey, you know what? Good. Get you a, Oh, absolutely! Brilliant! Absolutely! Let's 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 embrace it. Let's let's not get cynical. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's <laughs> and let's embrace it for what it is and, and enjoy it. Absolutely, couldn't agree with you more. Couldn't agree with you more. <laughs> couldn't agree with you more, sir. Uh, right, <laughs> and then there, finally, let's uh, before we get into the action and we start to, to look back at round four and all the rest of it. Uh, quick check in. Uh, we'll do Albert Goldthorpe medal first. Uh, joint fifth at the moment for Albert Goldthorpe is Mark Sneed and George Williams with four points. Uh, joint third, uh, Mike McMeekin, who picked up two points uh, for Catalans uh, against Warrington, and Chris McQueen, who's having a great season up to now. Huddersfield Giants. He picked up all three points. A bit generous that I thought. I thought Toy Hoyer uh, probably should have picked up the three. But anyway, uh, Chris McQueen uh, picked up the three. He's joined third. Uh, second place, Sione Natautia, who sits there on seven, three, uh, three points of him this week. And then the very impressive Jay Field, uh, eight points, averaging two points a game for the Albert Goldfort medal at the moment and leads the table. For the Man of Steel, the top uh, three go like this, joint third, George Williams again, and Danny Levi. Uh, and, of course, he's been out uh, for the last two rounds, so pretty good to have him uh, yeah. still in third spot. Uh, Jay Field is second uh, with the Men of Steel at the moment. I'm not sure if round four has been included in this yet. Uh, I don't think it has. Uh, I've not seen any announcement yet. Uh, but Jay Field's on six. And then Sione Matautia leads the Man of Steel with seven. So, at the moment, Matautia and Field... Um, yeah. One and two in both. No real argument with that. I think both no, are having I don't know. really good seasons. Sometimes I think Matauti gets the points for dropping the team off outside the door, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> same as his brother at Warrington. <laughs> I, know. No, actually, actually, no, I, 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 I think both of them are very, very good players. They're very good players, but very, sometimes very good they're players. better players on the pitch. Maybe. Uh, and we've been scratching our head at Matauti at Warrington getting man of the match a few times this season. We've only had four games. Yeah. Um, yeah. But you know, hey, it's a long season. They'll, 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 they'll. they'll find a way of calculating it again so that Tompkins can win it halfway through the season so cynical absolutely <laughs> cynical I'm in, a, I'm in a really cynical mood tonight <laughs> it, 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 I'm getting that feeling sir I'm getting that feeling <laughs> so uh, so yeah so that, that's that, so that's uh, the, the hot topics what we're going to do now as we've, we've done for the last couple of weeks we're going to now just have a quick dip into who the top performers of round number four were so uh, we'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll let you see this Of round number four, uh, some good performances in there, Greg. The word Toby King surprised me. Being in yeah, there. 251 metres, he just needs yeah. to learn to pass a ball, mate. I was going to uh, say, if he passed his winger, he'd be a great player. Yeah, and that's it. I mean, you know, for me, I mean, spoiler alert, you know, team of the week and all that, uh, not in the team of the week for the, for that for that reason. I mean, yeah. you know, 
you talked a minute ago about Peter Matautia. I don't think there's any real doubt why Josh Charnley has scored two in each game. No, no, no. Because I mean, got a Toby, King, Toby King could possibly the fastest man in Super League next to him. Just pass the ball, Toby. And, and, and the thing about Toby King, he's trying to go on the outside, whereas you see Matauti, he creates room for yeah. Chandler. He comes in and then flicks. I've created the room, off you go, mate. I mean, you know, Warrington there on the left-hand side, if you can get Ashton off in the clear, he's away. And he, so, yeah, I mean, 251, uh, 251 yards, brilliant uh, metre, sorry, good effort. But yeah, Luna all of the hogs as well, surprised me. Um, yeah, tackles, yeah. The kind of, the moves kind of stopped when the ball got to Oliver Holmes on Friday night as well. It kind of, it went no further. So that, that was a, mind you, yeah. defensive wise, we, we had to put a shift in because they were all over us on Friday night. They were. Um, but yeah, they were. you know, um, drink water was superb. Drink water was absolutely superb. He was, Friday. mate. He was exceptional. Well, we'll take a look now. So that that's where we're at. Uh, never seen Toby have a worse game yet, made all those metres, says Steve. You're quite right. I mean, he's, he's I say, good running, but needs to learn to pass the ball, unfortunately, our Toby lad. Uh, you know, we're always, we always call it straight. And uh, like I say, and, and speaking of which, actually, before we get to Team of the Week, uh, last week, got quite a few people, a little bit irate, because in their opinion, their 1-13 to 13 should be Team of the Week. Uh, I think it says a lot about our credibility that this week there's not a single Warrington player in the Team of the Week. Toby King had ice meters, he had a shout. Daz Clark played well as... Daz Clark played as hooker. Uh, you know, bottom line is, you know, we're Warrington fans. There's no Warrington, Warrington players in this week's team of the week. No. So when we actually do a team of the week and when we do a try of the week and we give you the options to, to do it, you know, try and take your colours off. This is about celebrating the game of rugby league. We try and do that as best we can. Yes, of course, we want Warrington to win. Of course we do. But, you know, we'll, we'll call it as we find it. So we, uh, come we on, guys. Easily, we could quite easily make this a Warrington Wolves podcast. But it ain't. But it's not. But it's it not ain't. Uh, exactly, mate. But so, it ain't. Down the middle. Down the middle. Okay, so let's uh, let's go in then. Let's go in. We started uh, the week. Here we go. We started the week with uh, the Leeds Rhinos uh, travelling to, to Wakefield Trinity. Uh, we did have a. I don't know what's happened there. We did have a uh, a contender in this one uh, for try of the week. We'll just get this get this going. Um, and that was Ash Handley's. Yes, it second was a, try. It was a really good try. Really good try. But here we go. Uh, Leeds for the first. First half of this game, some of the best rugby I've seen this season. They looked absolutely brilliant. They clicked. They, they, yeah. they just clicked. Um, what can you say? I, they're just yeah. I think that was the best first half performance bar Saints. I think I've seen by any team this season. This season, I agree. I thought uh, they were absolutely so brilliant. Far. Yeah, I mean Saints yeah. obviously are running away with things at the minute, but yeah, they were they were superb. Good strength there from Fossey Tua. He, yeah. he said right from the get go when they signed him. You know, you, you give him the ball from 10 metres out, you, yeah, you're in trouble, probably. aren't you? This, yeah. this was a good try as well. It was. Really good. This is Gannon's. We actually put this one up as well. A uh, really good break, that. Really good break. They, they, they've got... They, they really fancy this lad, don't they, at Leeds? Uh, well, he's, he's got... He, he reminds me of John Bateman. Um, yeah. And he, in his build and his, his pace and his, his, yeah. his, ball, his ball handling. He's a, You know, he's he's got the potential to be a... to be a real good international player. I think... <laughs> Yeah, another player who caught me eye in this game as well until he went off was Harry Newman. He, he's he's going to be missing this week, but injured I thought again. Newman had a really good game until he went off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. injured again though. I mean, he got to yeah. be a bit worried, a bit like Tom Johnston at Wakefield. Yeah. yeah. Although Touchwood, Tom Johnston has yeah. managed to survive this season so far. Yeah. Um, let's Caesar, hope. Caesar's best performance this season by a mile, by a mile, by a country I thought, mile. I thought Blake Austin played well as well. Yeah, yeah. They they were combining one in this one. Yeah. Um, you know, which is always the danger for me yeah. when when they went to Leeds as a Warrington fan. That was always the danger that that they if once they clicked, they will become Good. a threat, a real threat. Good double pump that from uh, from Austin. Uh, yeah. Welcome to Bob Norman. Uh, as always, we'll just put a quick disclaimer in Ooh, as yeah. we see Leeds going again here. Uh, for Ash Handley. Um, good finish, this. Really good finish. Um, yeah, a disclaimer, you know, all of these uh, taken from uh, the Super League YouTube channel. Catch all the action normally in the morning after the game. Uh, if you miss a game, all the highlights tend to be on there. Um, really good. And, of course, they've just launched their trial of the week, which, again, we'll, we'll share after the show with our Facebook forum. Uh, but, yeah, we get right to say, I mean, unbelievable. I mean, again, it's the unbelievable. I mean, two things. One, the fact that Leeds in the second half didn't look anywhere near. And then again, Wakefield, an incredible finish to this game. You know, how many times has he done that? This is a great try. Great try. Great balance, great speed. 
yeah, I, I'd have had that up there as a, you know, try the week. Well, I yeah, was, it was it was in there, mate. Didn't get yeah. into the top three. Didn't uh, get into I, the I'd top have, three. I think as we'll we'll probably see why in in a little while. But at the time, I think I texted you and said that's potentially try the week. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. You know, uh, there's more, there's, long, there's long more good go, ones. More good ones on the way, mate. A lovely step, lovely balance, lovely swerve. You know, Jay Field at his best. Hello. Go on, mate. Carry on. I was just saying it was all it was he was very similar to, to Jay Field in the, the way the body swerved. Yeah, good balance, wasn't it? Really yeah. good balance. And then of course the Wakefield comeback. Uh, Lino there, Lino should I say, over it comes. Uh fortuitous, but a good oh, yeah. a good well, try. A good well, try. Good opportunism. Uh, opportunism. Yeah, Great that's word. the word, yes. Great Absolutely. word. Yes. Absolutely. If, if you could say it right, I mean even a better word. Absolutely. Uh, yes. Good job. I'm not a journalist anymore. Um, that well. Yeah, it was uh, it was it was a lucky bounce, and you've seen yeah. them disallowed, but good on him, good on. Yeah, no, and again, good presence of mind there. That's a, you know, he, he, I mean, would he have got over himself? I don't know if he would, but it was uh, it, it was it was certainly well taken, wasn't it? Certainly yeah, well it was. taken, and a good kick, a yeah. good and kick. Again, yeah, you know, good movement, good movement that from. Was uh, forward. Yeah, we are. I thought so on the night, but slightly good forward. movement. I mean, like I say, Leeds really did combine well. On, on Thursday night, you know, the left to right, the right to left, they did really, really well. Uh, like I say, the I think we both said it could have, I think at half time, everybody's expecting a bit of a cricket score, it didn't actually happen. Uh, credit to Wakefield for that, uh, but yeah, I thought that was a hint, hint forward. Uh, but hey, you know, was, was it a more case of I don't want to be disrespectful to Wakefield, was it more a case of Lee's just taking the foot off the gas or well, they've done it, yeah, but you could say that but they did exactly the same against Catlam, exactly the same. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they right. just, I mean, is it about conditioning? You know, I mean, let's give them, let's try and give them a bit of credit. I mean, is it a case of they're just incredibly fit? They can go for 80 minutes and there's, as teams around them are fading, uh, you know, yeah. this was a good try as well for Max It was Jarrett. a very good try. He, well, yeah. It wasn't just a case to get over the shock of seeing that Leeds kit. Yeah. <laughs> and Wiggins as well. Oh, dear. What's going on? <laughs> yeah. What's going on? Yeah. But this is, I think Jowett was up for try of the week. It was either round uh, three or two. That's, that's another good try for Jowett. He's had, he's had a couple of yeah. good ones this year. Yeah, he's playing well. I think has, Hasn't he taken a ban this week? Uh, I think he has, yeah. And, yeah. and look at the attendance, mate, at Wakefield. 10,655. That's brilliant. Great attendance at Wakefield, that. That's brilliant when I think the average attendance was 7,000 across the board. That's that's a real good showing. Yeah, really good. good. Really, really good. good. 18, 18 points to 34 at that point. And of course that was the game. So yeah, yeah really, really good performance uh, from Leeds. I think Leeds fans will be a bit disappointed that they didn't turn the screw a little bit on that one. I think they had an opportunity to do to do that and they didn't do it for whatever yeah, reason. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, considering that, let's be fair, Leeds have had a disappointing start to the campaign. Um, there's a lot there for them to be getting a bit giddy about, I would say. I don't know about Giddy, but certainly it's good to see some of their um, injured players coming back probably sooner than they're usually introduced in the season. But he had to steady the ship somehow. So I think, you know, bringing back some of the some of the players has probably helped them. I yeah. think Austin and Caesar has clicked for the first time probably this season. Yeah, and I think that that's something that a lot of teams now will be uh, potentially a little bit weary of. Uh, yeah. as we go into you know as, as things uh, as things continue. Right, been. we've got to do it. Oh God, brace yourself, yeah, sir. Uh, we've got to do it. Uh, Wolves against the Dragons. It's fair to say for me, Warrington uh, really poor on the night. I think they only showed up for about fifteen minutes, and they were a good fifteen minutes, but that's just not good enough. Uh, got to credit Catalan though. And I thought you know we were talking off air. Josh Drinkwater in this game really ran the show, didn't he? Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean, he he, he just, there they have two issues here. Warrington's pack isn't good enough to take on Catalan's second string. So therefore the halfbacks haven't got the, the, the haven't got the foot in the game they need. Yeah. The, the yeah. Catalan half, I think Tony Gijo was in the house as well. Lovely uh, hands that, mate. Lovely yeah, soft yeah. pass that. Um, you know, they, 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 this is a good try. Yeah. Just dominate. But again, here Toby King has not got the intention of passing this. No. It's only when it goes Pete Tong here now. He thinks, yeah, I better offload it. Yeah. I mean, you know, and, and that that's got to change. It's got to change. But Matty Ashton, you know, he's chipping in with some good meters, some good tries. He just needs the service. And like I say, the amount of times Toby King did this and the easy ball oh. he's on. 
it must have been three or four times in the second half. Yeah. And then the no. one time he shouldn't have passed it, he threw it into touch. And, yeah. and of course he made this glaring error as well. Yeah, it's a bad one. I thought Mitchell Pace was good as well. I thought I thought for the first time, uh, you know, because I've seen the majority of the Cat uh, Catalan games this year, and for the first time, yeah, Mitchell yeah. Pace actually showed up in this one. Not not as much as Drinkwater. I think Drinkwater was was sensational, but uh, but Mitchell Pace yeah. had a better game. I mean, in this situation here, Ashton, I know he's offside, but just boot it into touch and give the penalty away. Yeah. Oh, I just yeah. give just give the penalty away. It, it could have resulted in two instead of six or yeah. four. Yeah, I mean, normally Toby King under a high ball saves over houses. houses, but and again, there's a lot of hesitancy there. I mean, again, Matty Ashton has he got an opportunity there to just fall on this? Just, just and you'll have a look there, in, just get on it, in, kick it yeah. into touch, yeah, just fall it. He waits and yeah. he thinks he's going to pick it up and he doesn't, you know. Yeah. But you know, credit, credit to Romano there, credit to him, you know, a lovely little kick forward, um, you know, and, 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 and he scores it, uh. Credit as well to Warrington, 9,295. Obviously, did the kids for a pound. I would estimate, yeah. what, about 700 in the West Stand, I would say. I would, this. I would say that was Catalan's best away show of the season, yeah. So, yeah, so, you know, you know, Warrington there, probably without that initiative, would have probably chalked it about eight and a half. So, it goes back to what yeah. we were saying last week, that, you know, it's probably a good thing to do and other teams should, should look at doing that. Uh, Alan Banks is coming in. Alan, what are you saying here? Let's have a look. Uh, what about proper head protection for safety? Or is the game turning into touch and pass? You said that last year, didn't you? Yeah, last week. Yeah. You know, yeah. Ed, Ed, you know, if we're serious about player welfare, surely head guards have got to become mandatory. Yeah. So, Alan, absolutely, mate. Uh, couldn't agree with you more. Good try that. Good understanding yeah. between Drinkwater and Mitchell Pearce. Uh, like I say, nice, nice. We actually put that one up for uh, try of the week as well, but I'm afraid to say I think we only got one vote, uh, which is Ash. Well, it was a good but, try, but there were a lot better tries scored this week. There was week. a lot better tries. It was the best try, for me, it was the best try in the Warrington game, uh, just because of, of its ingenuity. Yeah. I thought it was a little bit different, a bit off the cuff. It was nice to see. Um, but, yeah, I mean, like I say, as a, as a Warrington supporter, it was painful, incredibly. I mean, again, this I is mean, poor. this just summed Warrington up. Yeah. That was just a shock. Yeah. We tried to give poor. away. Yeah, poor. And uh, you know they've got they've got things to they've got things to to work on and well I don't think there's a I don't think there's enough time between uh, Thursday and uh, the Saints game to do that uh, we'll get to that later but uh, yeah I mean that, where, where's the ambition where's the desire you know you've got to you've got to be defending better than that it's yeah. you know the amount of times you saw Warren I mean there Daz Clark I mean massive fan of Daz Clark great player but you know he stood around there he's waiting I mean you can see it on the you'll see it now I mean it's just here we go. Right, get on your feet, get on your feet. There you go. Yeah. Now push off, push off, Daz. He doesn't, he just stick. He's just there. Look at how much time there is there. You've got to be moving towards that ball. He's yeah. just stood still. And Matty, you know, Matty the Davis goes for the man instead of the ball. If Matty Davis goes for the ball there, he gets it. Yeah, it's 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 a shocker. It's an absolute shocker. Um look at, yeah, not good enough. Bullock. That, that's just not good enough. Good bullock, it's like, oh. Oh, should I, should I? Oh, I think, mm, I don't know. Do you know what? I, I, before the season, I weren't sure about Bull, but I have to say, he's not, he, he, he's been all right for us. He's been all right, to be fair. Uh, but like it's I say, a big print. unit. I don't think he got, I don't think he got fairly treated at Wigan. He's yeah. a big unit. If yeah. he can, you know, if we can use him to his potential, he's going to be a good player, but he needs, he needs a better pack around him, I think. Yeah. This was a good offload. This is a good this, great offload. I mean, that, 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 and that's what it's all about. Quick hands. Yeah. Good finish. Yeah, I'm pleased with Josh Chan. I mean, you know, he's been a, he, he's not been this potent for about two 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 seasons now, but it just goes to show you've got a good centre on your inside. Um, you know, that's that. Yeah. Charlie Charlie will finish if he gets the service. Of course he will. But and, and yet now he's banned for two games. Yeah, and I thought this was a good try. I mean, there was talk on the night: was it offside? Was it not offside? But you know, this little kick. Now another little kick. May well have just stepped in front. It's a good try. It's a good yeah. try. I think you he know, may well have just been in front when he kicked through initially, but yeah, I, yeah. I was surprised it was given. I must admit, I thought he was offside, but I was glad it was given. Yeah. You know, if, if it had been 10 more games, 10 more minutes to go in that game, it could quite possibly have snatched it. Yeah, no, I agree. I, I, Warrington, obviously, at that point was in the ascendancy, uh, but just not enough time. But he made for an interesting last uh, last couple of drives from Warrington. You know, people were yeah. getting a bit up about it. And again, credit to Warrington for the marketing. You know, the dragon before the game with Merlin yeah. the Wizard. You know, nice little touches like that. It brings brings an audience, doesn't it? Yeah, and Wizzy Rascal was back. Yeah, the kids the kids love the dragon. I mean, my lads, I mean, my kid loved the dragon. Absolutely yeah. loved it. You know, it's absolutely... I mean, and I know that you were down there from Rogue, Greg, you know, uh, getting your photos up, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Not this uh, week. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, well done to Josh Charlie. Uh, disappointment for Warrington. Uh, lots to work on for the Warrington Wolves. Yeah, yeah. Lots to work on. That's just not, it's just not cricket, is it? Just well, not cricket. Well, as it, we're playing Saints at cricket on Friday to keep the score down. Well, uh, yeah, I'm a, I must admit, um, I'm a bit fearful of that. But we'll get to that. We'll get to we'll that. Get to so that now, we'll get to that speaking, now. Speaking of the Saints, well, we may as well go there. Uh, Sione Matautia, I think, absolutely deservingly get the man of the match on this. 7,256 uh, were there at Craven Park to watch this absolute mauling uh, from the champions. Uh, really good performance, again, from St. Helens uh, in this game. Um they're just firing out the Lewis Dodd, Makinson, Roby, as always. This was a good, powerful run from, from Matautia. You know, credit where credit is due. On yeah, this I was being a little bit facetious earlier on, but he, yeah. you know, he, is a, he is a devastating runner when he's at his best. Yeah, incredible, mate. Incredible. Good uh, good, good try uh, from them. And, and like I say, I mean, here come, here come Hull, you know, um, coming down the, the left-hand side. Took a bit of a knock there, Ryan Hall, as well. A big gash, wasn't it, yeah, to his I eye. Think, you know, bravery. I think he's missing this week, isn't he? From for concussion, yeah. I think. And, and well, I, I don't I, not as yet. I mean, I don't know. I, I can't well, remember if I put him on uh, as often. No, I don't know if he is or he's not. I think he went on having on playing. I think. Yeah, I, can't, um, I can't remember. I think I might have read that he, there's danger of him missing due to concussion. So I'm not. I might have dreamt it. <laughs> I don't know, mate. I don't know. I, we'll have a look. If he is, yeah. it'll be on. It'll be on when we get there. Uh, but yeah. yeah, Tommy uh, Tommy Makinson. Um, you know, great start to the season, both with his boot. And with the tries he's, he's putting in, um, playing really well, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Yeah, I'm a new, new lease of life this season, I think, the yeah. way he's playing this season. But again, good service, mate. Good service. You I know, mean, that's good. a good try. Yeah, again, we put that one up, and uh, I can announce that that was uh, voted as the third best try of the weekend, with 14% of the fans' forum wrote uh, going the way of Lewis Dodd. So there you go. Thanks for voting, people. Yeah, Lewis. Well, this, this, is just, this is just, uh, it, it's just, you know, it's it, 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 relentless, man. isn't it? You know, for his uh, age, good try as well. mate, for his age, I mean, you know, again, eight to eight, eight to draw on it. We said at the start of the season, was it a brave decision that Saints thought, well, they're making us look silly because that, that lad is he's class, isn't he? Well, that's his, that seems to be his trademark, that little dribble yeah. through and finish it off himself. It's almost Andy Gregory, Sean Edwards esque. Andy Gregory. Yeah, I actually saw him today, actually. Uh, uh, Wigan have launched some sort of memor uh, commemorative coin and he was doing yeah. a bit of marketing and promoting. I mean, Andy Gregg, what a player he was. What I think a he's, player. Doing, he's doing some sort of charity event as well. Is he? Uh, walking yeah. for cancer, I think. So I'll get yeah. support in that, yeah. Yeah, good, good player, Andy Gregg, mate. He was yeah. he was quality. Him and Edwards, mate, They were that was an half-back pairing, wasn't it? That was a yeah. proper half-back pairing back in the day. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I think this is Wormsley's try. Oh, it's good to see Big Al go over in it. There we go. Yeah. Big Al going in for his try. No, somehow I don't think he'll need to be on the end of a kick on Friday night. I think he'll walk through. <laughs> well, if he has a game like he did against Leeds last year, yeah. I remember that game last year, yeah. dear me. <laughs> Unbelievable. Is that, is that Ryan Hall? Yeah, they, yeah, they, they, yeah. He's, he's still on there, Ryan Hall. I thought he, I thought I, he, must, uh, I must have, I must on. have misread it that he, he could. The possibility was he was missing this week. I think it's a, it was a bad, it was, a, it was a bad gash, but I do, I do yeah. think he's playing this week. And then Saints, of course, finished the scoring late on. Here they go again. Tommy Makinson, right yeah, place, right, good poor, finish. That's poor though. Poor defence, but good opportunism. You know, he he yeah. kept the concentrate. A lot of wingers there. I thought that he was just going to get cleared, but he didn't get cleared and. Yeah. You know, he managed to he managed to get it was down. That, was that Mikey Lewis pulling his own player up by the by the net? There, that, yeah, he'll be he'll be facing a ban. Get a ban for that. Yeah, he'll be facing a ban. But you know, Saints. I mean, they just look incredible, don't they? Um, I, I think a friend of ours said last last season would Saints go through the season unbeaten, and we kind of scoffed brave. at that a little bit. That's and brave. I, I don't think they will. No. I think that's a well, brave I, one, mate. I think they. I think it's going to be a good performance that actually beats them. Yeah, I think I can't remember. I can't remember now. I wrote it down somewhere who, who I thought the minor the minor premiers were going to be. I think I might have gone. I think I might have gone Catalan. Did I go Catalan? Oh, you said Saints. 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 Did I go Saints, Saints for minors? Um, yeah, I mean, you just can't. You just can't see anything but the minute, can you? No. You can't see anything but you know, every, right across the park, quality. Um, yeah, the, it's, it, it, I, I, I'm almost depressing myself. So rather than depress myself, we'll move on and we'll celebrate uh, what was a fantastic performance by the Toulouse Olympic. Um, I have to give great credit 
to the Wigging commentary team. I actually listened to this live um, yeah, Wigging yeah. uh, on their Wigging Facebook page. There's a link link to to the commentary, and I listened to it. And credit to the Wigging commentary team. They said, in no uncertain terms, to lose Olympic deserved to take the two points, and they had got away with one big time. Yeah. Um, you know, nobody saw, especially at, at 10, 10, 18 down after. I think it was ten minutes. They were so they were ten down inside the first ten minutes. Nobody yeah, saw yeah. this. Uh, this is a great try. Great try. Uh, this was also up for try of the week. Jay Field, yet yeah. again, great pay. Look at that turn of yeah. pace. Beautiful. Uh, that one came second with really? 31% of the vote. 31. That, that, was, that was my try of the week. Yeah, that got 31% of the vote, that one. Uh, yeah. Very, very good. Very, very it was good. Superb. good I mean, it was just a superb try all round. I, I know the one that's won it, which is is you know is is a good try, but good try. that one for me was just a little bit better. Yeah, I, I like. I must admit, I like the Gallon one. I thought the Gallon one was a good try. Yeah. Uh, I did. I did like that one as well. Gigo, mate, he's kicking in this first half yeah. was incredible. And this lad Armitage yeah. looks a player. Don't, people are saying about his, his defense. I mean, I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing enough of him. But your know, word on the street, defensively, maybe not that good. But but certainly from an attacking perspective. I mean, there again, look at that kick from Gigo. Absolutely yeah. superb. Um, but yeah, from a from a, an attacking perspective, he looks a unit, doesn't he? Yeah, and that's a that's a that's a good try. That's it's a, poor defense, though, isn't it? Try. You know, it's poor defense that. Uh, a a I bit get, of get... good, strong attacking run, weak defense. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's still, oh dear me. Yeah, oh, yeah, he didn't. Oh, his legs above the horizontal. There. They didn't miss there. It was, oh, that's a good. That, that's a good tackle. I quite like that. That's a lovely reverse kick. That. Yeah. You know, like I say, Gigo kicked him to death, mate. In that. Yeah. I, must admit, I, said, I, I made the mistake of saying Gigo was in the house of Catalan. I, I meant to lose. To lose, um, unbelievable, mate. Absolutely yeah. unbelievable, and of course, then he took his took his drop goal uh, there, and then another one here. I think this was uh, was this uh, Pelissier, wasn't it? Who, who did the was. second drop yeah. goal for him? He had a half decent game as well. To be fair, he was sniffing around in, in the team of the week. We'll get to that in a bit. But uh, hookers, a lot, a lot of good, very very nip and tuck the hookers this week. Daryl Clark, George Lawler, Pelissier yeah. had a good game. James Roby had a good game. So you know yeah. it was quite quite close in there. Uh, but yeah, but, and, and this impressed me. When I was listening to the commentary, when it got to 18 16, you're thinking, right, here we go. Fair play to Toulouse. You know, they, they kept the belief, they kept the concentration. You know, Matty Russell going in, good finish, um, yeah. you know, on, on the far side. You know, and, 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 and then and they extended the lead, which was just like, at this point, I'm this thinking, is, yeah. is Armitage again, yeah. Um, at this point, I'm thinking, again, good strength. I mean, to brush off Farrell is Mate. strength. And when you and the other thing here, you know, as as we're watching it, I mean, I think you know, you see now the wigging, the wigging comeback now yeah, uh, yeah. in in full in full gusto. But when you actually look at the Warriors team, Phil was full back, Liam Marshall, Pierce Paul Ardacre, Miski got his debut. That you could argue that was a, a you know a bit a bit there, a, you know, a fringe player there. Cade Cuss was playing. Harry Smith led to believe Harry Smith. Great try again from Phil there. Harry Smith didn't um, cover himself in glory. I'm led to believe another. Average performance from Avi Smith. That must be uh, concerning, Wigan, in terms of you know the future. There it is, little kick off. He says yeah, that as Avi Smith popped over the. Um, yeah, drops it's, the, it's a shame. Drops it's the goal. Shame for Toulouse that they couldn't hang on. Yeah, um, but that's well, what Wigan. That's what Wigan do. That's what they're renowned for. Well, they, the, they, they dig out a win. That's what. Actually, if you want to see extended highlights of that, if you go on the Toulouse Olympic page, uh, they, they, they've got extended highlights, and at the final out of the Olympic players just hit the. Just hit the yeah. deck. Uh, yeah. Real shame. Again, Absolutely. going back, just going back to this team. Uh, Brad Singleton, Sam Powell, Kay Dellis, Liam Favell, John Bateman, and Morgan Smith. He's played loose forward, and the bench was uh, Mago, Partington, Burn, and Shorricks. So you know yeah. that was not a weak wigging team. No. Nowhere near. There was two no. players: Harry Smith, Faluluai, and uh, you know Miski getting his getting his debut, as they say in Australia. Um, you know, over the likes of Jake Bibby and Willie Isa. Yeah. But yeah, you know, to lose there. Superb performance. They are not necessarily going to be the whipping boys because they played well against Warrington. They didn't. They didn't play badly against Warrington. No, you're right. Yeah. Uh, it's a so, little echoes as we said last week again of Lee last season, where they took the big teams to, you know, to, to ram them close and then just capitulated against the, the lesser teams, the ones you thought they might stand a chance again. So we'll absolutely. have to see. Um, we'll have to see if, if how to lose rebound from that. That that is going to 
do one of two things, I think, to Toulouse. They're going to think, blimey, we've got a chance here. Like, it could completely deflate them. Well, we might find the answers to that out this week. Yeah. But we'll, we'll get to that in a bit. Uh, Huddersfield, Jack, come on, Huddersfield Giants fan, 5,702. Come on. You, 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 you know, what, what are we doing? What are we doing? Like well, yeah, I mean, mean you can Huddersfield the Giants. Premier, you can fill the Premiership football team. Yeah. Let's fill it for a Super League team. Huddersfield Giants, mate, uh, their fans must be pinching themselves uh, at the great start that they made. Uh, another good performance. Will Price here. Look at that. Look at yeah. that. That's, that's a bit of quality. Another yeah. contender. It was a good try, that. Really, really good try, that one. It's got to be said. That was uh, that was top draw from Will Price. A lot of excitement around him, isn't there? And then there I is. think this is the McQueen one, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Another one for Chris McQueen. I mean, if you look at I mean, again, come on. Stop being lazy. We, we, we talk about this week in, week out. You know, people being lazy with the man of the matches. Apologies, yeah. I'm, just getting, I'm just getting some up. Just give me a just give me a second. But I just want to I just want to bring people's attention uh, to to this one um, in terms of in terms of what we're saying here. So you look at you look at the difference between La Jolla and, and I've got it up now. So let me just uh, get to get to where I need to be, and then I'll get carry on carry on with the highlights. Here we go. Uh, yeah, you know, Chris McQueen getting the the, the, the three points. Chris McQueen in this game, good performance. Don't get me wrong. It was, a, it was a good performance. But you look at La Jolla, you know, two assists, 139 metres. He had a, a dummy yeah, yeah. run, a couple of offloads. He had a really good game. Chris McQueen, yeah, he got a try. I get that. He got a try. But he only did 89 metres. He got yeah. a try in 89 metres. La Jolla, all day long, should have got the three points for that. Yeah. As we um, said last week, it, it's... It's odd. It's just odd. The hard workers aren't rewarded enough. No. I'll tell you, that kid's having a good season, mate. He's a senior. Yeah, he is. He is. Isn't he? I think he wasn't bad last season. I think he got an injury, didn't he? Um, yeah. In round six or seven. And he wasn't quite the same after that, but it's no. good to see. Um, yeah. The, the, Chris Hill going over? Yeah, well, uh, he had a great game, Chris yeah. Hill. Oh, there we go. Mr McGilvy with an interception. Off he yeah. goes. He's not being caught from there. Jermaine, shouldn't, no. be, shouldn't be anywhere near the World Cup squad, though, I'm afraid, for me. No, 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 no. No, no. definitely no. not. No, but a great pro. Doing well. Doing well, but yeah, I mean, credit to credit to Huddersfield. I mean, I'll be honest with you, uh, it's, this is a good finish. And oh, look at that! That's yeah, that thing. is the, that. That was yeah. again. That could have been a contender for yeah. top top five. Yeah. Two really, really good tries from his senior. He had a he had a decent I mean, game. That's a great it? win for the Giants. Salford were on a bit massive, of a roll. Massive game for the Giants, mate. Yeah. Massive game for the Giants. And that takes us to uh, to Castleford. Um, Castleford, of course, looking for their first win, and they got it at the Jungle. Uh, a 33-26 win. Over 10,000 at the Jungle That's to witness this. Sense. Well done, Castleford fans, for not, not yeah. losing hope, not, you know, getting back out. You know, we said when they lost that first game of the season and they had over 10,000, you know, keep keep backing them. And yeah. Greg Eden, just, just while we're, we're starting here, mate, just a little <laughs> note on Greg Eden. First game of the season. Again, you talk about injuries. Greg Eden averages over a try a game for Castleford. Yeah. Incredible, mate. If they can it keep is. Eden fit, he's one of the best wingers in Super and, League. And finishes. Yeah. Incredible and, player. And when you think that, that both Wakefield and Castleford had 10,000 plus in the ground, that, that, that can only be good for both, for both those teams. Oh, Andy, Andy and Sue, come on. Even with a great Hull support, credit to 7,500 cast support. Yeah, OK, all right, fantastic. But, you know, at the end of the day, 7,500, it could have easily been 3,500. The main thing is over 10,000 people went to watch a game of Super League. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, and that's the way we see it. We, You know, that, you know I don't care, me. If there's 13,000 at Warrington and 4,000 of them are Saints fans, I really don't care. Uh, it's about getting people in the stadium to watch the game. That's what matters. That's what matters. Well, That's Paul. There were some howlers in this game, though. There I tell you what. I tell you. In this game. I tell you. I tell you. I've got. I thought Josh Griffin in this game. You know, um, he never give up. You know, and, and, and there's yeah. certain bits in this game where Griffin. I think this is it. Actually, watch his. It might be this one. His reaction here to this going in is absolute. Look at him. Absolutely livid. Yeah. And that's what you want to see, you know. If you if yeah. you yeah. if you're a Hull, Hull FC fan, that's that's spirit, and that's what you want in your in your team. It is. I mean, you know, contrast that to the Warrington players behind the sticks. Just 
nobody yeah. talking, nobody no. saying anything. Yeah, no, yeah. nobody angry that we've conceded a soft try. You know, I like to see that in a player. Yeah, it's a good omen, mate. It's a good omen. You know, yeah. at the end of the day, and and to be fair to, I mean, to be fair to 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 Hull, you know, at no point did the did this, the that uh, was a good try. Was that Swift? Yeah, Swift. Yeah, good that was try. a great try as well. Um, Not been as prolific as he at the start of the season. So I don't know if he's been injured. I, I don't think he has. I think he's played most of the games for. I, I, I'm I, sure Andy and Andy and uh, Sue will tell me. Yeah, I, I think it's just been a symptom of how Hull have started the season. I don't think they've yeah. been that fluent uh, no. at the start of the season. Uh, and, no. and you know they, they they stayed in there. They could have quite easily given up. Yeah. No. Absolutely. But this is absolutely uh, another another good break. Yeah. And this is a good try. This is a great try. This actually is the try of the week. 48% of the Super League fans for and vote went to that try from Greg Eden. Uh, it took some scoring and he did well to score it, to be fair yeah, to him. I just, I just like the J Field one a bit better. I just like I like yeah. that one a little bit more. But that, that yeah. was not enough to take nothing away from no. that. I mean, no, it, no. I say it's a powerful finish. Pretty comprehensive as well, Jamie Shaw it's, going in on the wing. It's a good try as well. It's a good try. It's a good try from Jamie Shaw. Uh, Amanda Mark Gill is now with us. Les Dews is with us as well. Neil McAnally is with us. Jeffrey Horton is with us. Um, yeah, they're all flying in tonight, which is good to see you guys. As we bring to a close round number four, Jake Connor as well, even though, I mean, God, it'd be very hard for Connor to have a, a game like he had in round three every week. But again, Connor, uh, good game again, backing up that, I think everybody's thought process that he should be in the England team. Yes, uh, he, should. he should be in the squad at least. At least in the squad. Um, but yeah, interesting that uh, that he's not, which is uh, which is a great shame. So let's uh, so with that, should we uh, should we take a look at the uh, the, the Super League uh, the Super League table, sir? Should we take a look? I All think right, we should. Well, here we take. Oh, they stand uh, after four rounds. Here we go. And no real surprises. St. Helens, uh, of course, at the top with the Wiggy Warriors. Two teams now with a perfect record of four from four. Um, uh, which is good. Oh, hang on, Andy's back in. Oh, sorry, Andy is a Cavs fan. My apologies, Andy. Uh, he is a Cavs fan. Season tickets, take the good with the bad. That's the spirit. Well done. Uh, my apologies, I thought you were a whole fan. <laughs> uh, Saints and Wiggy, uh, still on maximum points. Uh, Huddersfield Giants, we've just said it. Third. And, you know, and Hull FC, you know, at the start of the season, you know, Huddersfield Hull, Leeds, Castleford, OK, are they were the teams we were thinking we're going to challenge for the six? Huddersfield and Hull will be delighted to be yeah. in the top six positions after four rounds and they'll be looking to, to continue that as the, as we go through the season. Warrington, of course, now in fourth. Catalan up to fifth. And then, of course, the chasing pack, Salford, Leeds, uh, Castleford, Hull, KR all on two. And then, of course, we'll get to the predictions in a minute. The big one. We'll only have one team without a win, unless it finishes in a draw, of course, uh, when Wakefield take on to lose this week. So whilst we're at it, I think it's time for Team of the Week. So uh, without further ado, uh, what we'll do is we'll take a look at Team of the Week for round number four. Here we go. It's the Super League Raw Team of the Week for round number four. Here we go again. And at fullback, he is unmissable. He's unstoppable. He's undroppable. He's unbelievable. It's Jay Field. Three times out of the first four weeks, he's been in our Team of the Week. Two incredible tries to get Wiggy right back in the game and secure victory this week. And number two, it's going to be Tommy Megerson of St. Helens. A hat trick of tries. And within there, 150 now for St. Helens. He's also pretty good with his boots as well, isn't he? Tommy Megerson in great form. At number Number three, it's Josh Griffin of Hull FC. Despite their loss, it was Griffin who tried his level best to drag them by the scuff of the neck to the winning line in this game. Of course, they fell well short, but well done to Griffin for staying committed during the game. Arthur Romano of the Catalan Dragons, well, he's also in the centre. He wouldn't have been playing, would he, had Dean Ware been fit, but he was very, very good indeed against the Warrington Wolves and fully deserves his place this week. At number five, keeping out Greg Eden of Castleford Tigers is Ash Handley of Leeds Rhinos. A hat-trick of tries and the determining factor, 206 metres with ball in hand. Ash Handley is this week's left wing. And at number six, it's Josh Drinkwater of Catalan Dragons. It was Drinkwater who was the architect of this victory for the Dragons. Without him, would they have won? He marshaled the team superbly. Four perfect kicks, the difference. Well done to Josh Drinkwater. At number seven, the easiest pick of the week, Tony Gigo. Despite going 10-0 down, it was Gigo with his masterful kicks that got to lose into an 18-10 lead at half-time and very nearly uh, got them the victory as well. Well played to Tony Gigo on his 150th career appearance. At number eight, it's Alex Wormsley back after last week, not quite making the team a try to boot as well. 
Wormsley, without question, the best prop in Super League. And he gets his number eight shirt back once again. And number nine, it's his partner in crime, James Roby. A mention must go to George Lawler of Casper Tigers, but it's Roby that we've gone for. He knows when to go to that. He knows when to go right. A great assist as well. Well played to Joe James Roby. And at number 10 is Mike Mameekin. He was very close last week to getting into the team lead of the week in the prop forward position, but this week we just couldn't not put him in there. 149 metres against Warrington Wolves. Laid the foundation for a very good win for the French side. At second row, we've very nearly been in the team a week a couple of times already, but this week he's there. Sione Mataltia of St. Helens is a handful, isn't he? Two very, very well taken tries by Sione this week at 102 metres with ball in hand. And at the second row as well will be Chris McQueen, the second time he's featured this year. It's great to have a new player knocking around the team of the week, isn't it? And uh, Mr McQueen, well, you have to say he's in great form and he's incredibly consistent. We're talking of Mr Consistency. One shining light for Casper Tigers this year, despite the three defeats, was the performances of Joe Westerman. And this week, he's in the winning side with another impressive display. Well done to Joe. Ladies and gentlemen, your team of the week for round number four. There you go, mate. Uh, team of the week for round number four. Um, pretty damn good team, I would say. I would say, yeah. A big shout out to Cameron Smith as well. Good to see Joe Westerman getting in there. Yeah, yeah, Westerman. Uh, uh, like, Chris like Hill we said. had a good game. Chris yeah, Hill had a good game for this field, I thought. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, going back to Westerman, I mean, if there's been one, as we said in the in the graphics there, you know, Westerman all season has been in great form for Castleford. He's been, his name's been mentioned a few times, has been there or thereabouts. I thought Gudemond yeah. had a good game as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah there's a lot. I mean, I mean, Wellsby, Lullahoya at fullback could easily have been in there. Of course, Greg Eden. And like I say, we had to look at it in terms of, you know, three players scoring a hat-trick, determining factors come into it. Ash Hanley, his all-round game and contribution, just slightly more than Eden, uh, got him the nod. We've mentioned drink. Well, easiest pick of the week, Tony Gigo yeah. by country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sutcliffe, uh, well. Sutcliffe had a great game. Yeah, yeah, Sutcliffe played well. And then, of course, Mike McMeekin out of position at prop. But well, do, yeah, he was... Work. I think we said mentioned it last week. He was at prop and he played really, really well as well. Yeah, he was he was he was close last week yeah. uh, to getting in to getting in the team of the week as well. So uh, so yeah, they 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 you jolly well go. So uh, as they stand, there you go. So uh, we've got to do this, haven't we? We've got to do this. Oh, the predictions, right? This is how it currently stands as we go into the final part of the show. The predictions lead for 2022. I'm having a mare. Greg is in the box seat, uh, or doing certainly in, in the competition with me anyway. Uh, but yeah, Greg had the best week. 14 points this week. Myself and the Super League Fans Forum both getting 11 points, which means the Fans Forum still lead Greg by two points. Greg on 65, and I'm on 51. Shall we move on? What can I say? Let's move on. <laughs> no, you gave it to me last season. I did. I did. <laughs> you watch it. You watch the same season as me, mate. Well, there's no prizes given out in in no. March, mate. I'll there's still no finish prizes. bottom, mate. You know, I'll still finish bottom. <laughs> no, I'm in shocking form. Right, let's get into this week then, and let's get into this week's game. So these are the games. Round number five, kicking off on Thursday night. Leeds Rhinos take on Hull FC. Then uh, it's Wakefield taking on Toulouse. Salford taking on Hull KR. Then we go on to Friday, where the Warrington Wolves will be taking on St. Italians and the Totally Wicked. The Huddersfield Giants take on... Castleford, that should be a good game. And then, of course, finally wrapping up the weekend live on Sky will be Castle uh, Catalan Dragons taking on the Wigan Warriors. So we'll kick off by looking at this game. Now, this is interesting. Rhinos, absentees for this game. Cameron Smith, Cruz Leeming, both suspended as is James Bentley for his final game. Tom Holwood, Harry Newman out. Richie Marlowe, we know he's out. Sam Walter's shoulder. And Mustafa is also out with his knee. Of course, their first win coming last week against Wakefield. As for Hull, big problems at Hull going into this game. Scott Taylor still out. Josh Reynolds will be out. Unspecified as to why that is. But Josh Reynolds not in the squad name today by um, Hodgson. Daniel McIntosh is going to be out with his calf. Jordan Lane, again, unspecified, is out. Uh, good news, though, Joe Cater is in. Uh, Manu Mayu still out with his hamstring. Luke Gale still suspended. Carlos Tamarari still out with his hamstring. And Cam Scott, massive, massive injury lists for both teams. Hull, of course, yeah. two for four. Uh, Leeds got off to winning, uh, got off to that uh, winning start last week. Poor, where do you see this one, uh, Headingley? It's a tough one. It's a tough one because as, as good as Leeds were last week, they've got a lot of players out this again. Yeah. Hull yeah. 
could have could have quite easily won that last week, to be honest. Yeah. Um, I, I, do you know what? I, I've ummed and hard about this one. I'm going to go Leeds 9 to 17. Oh, you've gone the same as me. Yeah, Leeds. You've gone the nine. same as me. I've gone exactly the same way. Uh, Leeds 9 to 17. The fans forum. 55% of the vote went to Leeds, with yeah, yeah. the the most dominant scoreline in that vote being Leeds by 18 plus. Oh, right. So that's the way the, the fans forum so yeah, see, see that one. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking this new way of doing it this year. It's more fun. Yeah. Uh, it's more fun and more people in the fans forum. We're taking there. on the nation, aren't we? We're taking on the nation. That's the way. <laughs> Uh, loving it. Right, uh, then we go to the... Oh, hey, we've got to have a chat about this one. Wakefield taking on Toulouse. Now, take a look at the Wakefield absentees. Max Jowett out, suspended. No Tupu, no Lee Corshaw. Jack Croft out with his knee. Gaskell still out with his elbow. Liam Hood expected to be out still with his shoulder. Thomas Min's hand. Tommy Lyon still out with his knee. And Jacob Miller is doubtful, albeit probably will play uh, because he did finish the game. So he passed his HIA, but still doubtful having had that knock. As for Toulouse, uh, with the exception of Jessamy, who was out last week, uh, they come into this game with no fresh injury problems. So <laughs> Trinity, a lot of absentees. Obviously, they're going to be home, <laughs> taking on Toulouse Olympic. This is an interesting game. Yes. Where yes. do you see this one going? I don't know. <laughs> um, I am going to say that I think to lose, rather than be deflated by that performance last week, will be encouraged by it. And I'm going to go, sorry, Wakefield fans, I'm going to go to lose 9 to 17. You've gone the same as me again. Dear me. Really? I'm not catching you this week. Uh, however, the fans forum, 60% yeah. of the vote yeah. went the way of Toulouse. So we're all seeing it the same way. Yeah. Uh, but they're going a bit tighter. They're saying zero to eight. Okay. Um, but so yeah, 60% of the vote, uh, the fan, the fans forum. Uh, Andy and Kirk here saying it's a short turnaround. Uh, will defeat Hull in the in the game against Leeds. You, you probably you probably might have a point there, Andy, to be fair. That's, that's a very good uh, point. It's a very, very good point uh, that's that, that's well made there by Andy and Sue. Great that Andy and Sue are getting involved in the chat as well. Come on, more people get involved in the chat. Yeah. We'd like to know that you're there. Um, right, we now go on to the AJL Bell, Bell Stadium uh, for the Salford Red Devils taking on Hull KR. Uh, one second. Uh, so, yeah, Salford Red Devils against Hull KR. Here it comes. Uh, Greg, uh, again, absentees on this one. Uh, for the Salford Red Devils, still no Harvey Bet, still no Callum Watkins, still no Dan Sargent. And there it is. Yeah. Um, as for the Robins, well, Ben Crooks out, Lewis Johnson still out. Brad Tagaranji announced today he has been stood down yes, pending the outcome that. of his drink driving. Yeah. Uh, Lachlan Coote also expected to be doubtful for this game, albeit Kane Lynette will return. Hull, of course, one from four. Salford uh, got off to a great start with two wins, have fallen in the last two weeks. Actually, two heavy defeats as well in the last two weeks. Yeah. Um, this is another interesting one to call, isn't it? It is, it is. Which Again, one do you think? I, I, there's been some real tough games to call. And I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to go Salford. And I'm going to go zero to eight. Zero to eight. This is frightening. We're the same again. What's going on here? This is shocking. Uh, we're both agreeing on every game. However, uh, the fans forum could could have us have, absolutely have us away this week. Miles mate. ahead. Uh, the fans agree. forum eighty three. Oh God, this is a bold one. Eighty three yeah. percent, the second highest of the week, going the way of Hull, zero to eight. Well, okay, I can mm. see that happening. Yeah, you see, I, I agree. It, it, it could easily. Could easily go that way. Could easily, yeah. easily go that way. It's gonna be it's gonna be interesting to see how that one pans out. Right. We then come to the one that we probably don't want to talk about. Uh as for Saints, 
Uh, Comrade Hall out suspended, Regan Grace still out of his elbow. Apart from that, clean bill of health, four from four. Uh, the last uh, two performances, well, actually, uh, I give Hull FC the benefit of the doubt uh, because of the, the the sending off and the, the sim bin in the Hull FC game. But, but you know, the, the growing Saints, they're getting stronger every single game. For the Wolves, no Charlie, no Davis, both suspended, obviously long-term absentees, uh, then underneath them. Uh, yeah. Pretty much going to be similar, only with the exact, you know, with the absence of Charlie. Maybe Fulis will come in. Maybe I'm guessing on the I wing. Think, I would think uh, Fulis will be on the wing. I think it'll be there. Um, yeah. How do you see this one? I think um, Saints will probably finish 173 for four after their 20 overs, and we'll Good be money. all out. We'll be all out for 50. You going 18? Because. <laughs> 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 Do you know what? Joking aside, and I wish we were playing them at cricket because it would keep the score down, I think. Joking aside, knowing Warrington, they could very, very well turn up and win this, knowing Warrington of old. Got a good record at the Totally Wicked, Warrington. Yeah, the problem is this this year that that pack, and I know it's a, like a broken record now, is just not good enough, I'm afraid. No. And I'm going Saints 18+. plus. I guess I, it hurts me to say it, but... Even I'm, you know, that... Yeah, I'm with you. I'm an optimist. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot. it's a long season, so I don't have to start going out on a limb at this stage, but I agree with you. I, I just, I've it's seen Warrington. Just... Darrell Powell himself said it, that last week was coming. I think it's going to be coming even more on Friday night. I think, I, I, you know, I hope I'm wrong and, you know, Warrington fans, I mean, what are you doing? But, you know, we call it as we find it is what it is. And, and yeah. Saints, they're just in incredible form. Uh, I don't. I just don't see Warrington getting anything out of it, and I think it could yeah. be a bit of a bloody no, nose by the end of the game. Yeah, you know, Warrington have a habit of of winning the games we don't expect them to win, but he, he could they could play Alex Warmsley on his own against us, and they'd still win. No, big big Alex. <laughs> anyway, we go. Well, here we go. Here we go. Uh, and I, 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 when I saw this in the league express, because I didn't realise Sky was doing this, I was absolutely over the moon because I think this is going to be a great game. Huddersfield yeah, against Castleford, Saturday afternoon. What else are you going to do on a Saturday afternoon? Mow the lawn, behave yourself. Uh, oh, unbelievable. Well, Quarter past three. United, in the afternoon. Anyway. Well, definitely not watching football. Uh, <laughs> Giants absentees, the long-term one, Jack Cogger, Jake Wardle, nothing, nothing more at the moment been announced from them. As for the Tigers, McClellan's still out, O'Neill's still out, Fecky's still out, Danny Richardson's still out, and of course, Rimo's still out on suspension. So no real changes here for either team based on the, the, the teams that won this week. Great win for the Giants, 34 uh, to, and, and you know, you've got to look at it, actually. Yeah, Hull KR, they've been pretty convincing the Giants with the exception of Wigan, and Wigan been in good form. Yeah. As for Castleford, uh, you know, they'll get a lot of heart and a lot of spirit out of their win over Hull FC. There's no doubt about that. Um, um, this could be a really interesting game. Both coming into it with a bit of confidence. Um, this is a tough one to call. Where are you going with it? I am I think, actually, I'm going Giants 18 plus on this one. I think, I think the Giants will be just too strong for Castleford. Oh, we've got, we've got sorry, Castle, sorry, sorry, Tigers fans. I just think I think Giants uh, have, uh, they've got I think a, they're a stronger point. unit. Yeah, they're a stronger they're, unit. They're a stronger unit. Uh, I, I think you know. The, I think the, the halfback problems. I mean, McShane played well last week for Casper. I know that Andy and, and Sue are now throwing things at us, but you know, yeah. I believe that I believe that she, you know, but Shane had a good game. Lawler played well at Ucker. You know, credit to George Lawler at Ucker. Um, you know, we, if Eden's fit, we, you know. They've got the players. They've got the players. Interesting that uh, they didn't play in our levels last week. That was an interesting one. Yeah. Uh, that they didn't put him at full back. But yeah, I think based on what I've seen of the Giants this year, um, you know, the players that played well from last year, the likes of you know the Luke Yates of this world, um, who played well last year for him. Um, yeah, I'm with you. I've I've gone Huddersfield nine to seventeen. You've gone Huddersfield eighteen plus. Yeah. The fans forum sixty six percent also see Huddersfield coming out of this on top, uh, and they've gone nine to seventeen as well. So, okay. uh, if Castleford win that one, then all of us fans forum, me, you, we know nothing. Yeah. Um, you know, shame on, on us, as they say. Go on, Castleford, prove us wrong. Go on, Cass. Go on, go on. Flat, uh, classy cast. Anyway, and then we've come in the end to what a great way to bring down the curtain on uh, on Saturday. The Stad Gilbert Brutes. Um, yeah. uh, great to see the Dragons taking on the Warriors. Big absentees again uh, for the Dragons. Arthur Morgan, called Julian Busquet, um, Dylan Napper. I think is this his last suspended game, or has he got yeah. one more to go? I think it might be his last. 
Uh, Tompkins, Dean Ware and Fuad Yaha, doubtful. I would expect at least one, if not two of those, maybe, uh, to be, be playing. I know that Tompkins will certainly do everything he can to go up against uh, the Warriors this week. Um, as for the Warriors, with the exception of Havard and Thornley, again, no fresh injury concerns have been announced uh, from the DW Stadium. Uh, Wigan in great form. Lucky last week, though, we must say. We must say that. But, you know, the yeah. fourth and four... Um, they're playing very, very good rugby league. Some they great, are. you know, field incredible. They've got the strike. Uh, we'd expect Bibby probably to come back in on the left hand side. L uh, Lula, we'd expect to come back in uh, for Harry Smith. Um, yeah. God, I mean, you know, this, is, this is a tough one to call. This. I think it's really good of the RFL to, to give them a, a full week in France. Uh, you know, I know the teams have to travel back and say, hey, that's really nice. You know, it's thoughtful that. Give them a week yeah, on, on weather training. Uh, yeah, really it is. It is. Um, has any other not. super? Has any other club been given that? In fact, I'm going to tell you because here we go. We did this last week. I've you know what? I, I said this. I well, said this last look. season when Toulouse were promoted. Yeah, it would be great. It would have been a good idea. Had Toulouse and Catalan, you right. played them back to well, back away. Here we go. Castleford. The answer is no. Uh, they are not. Huddersfield Giants. Have you got lucky, Huddersfield Giants fans? Let's take a look. Uh, oh, yes. Oh, no. So they've actually got to lose at home and then Dragons away. That was kind. Um, that's, that's, that's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Um, in terms of these guys, no. Hull FC, you, you've not got a weak bender in uh, in France either. Uh, Old KR, let's have a look at you. To lose away. No, you've not either. Uh, Leeds, uh, Leeds could get a favourable shout. I don't know why I'm saying that. But no, 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 Leeds, you're, you're not having it either. Uh, Salford, it's, a, it's incredible this, isn't it? Uh, Salford, no. Uh, St. Helens, have St. Helens been given a, a bit of a jolly? Uh, no, uh, no, they haven't. Um, and Wakefield, finally, Wakefield, no, they can't have, can they? Because no, because no, 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 they haven't. So, wait, so Wakefield, half -term well, the Wigan. only, the half -term only, half -term Wigan this week. Yeah, the only team in Super League who have been given Catalan away, followed by, uh, sorry, to lose away, followed by Catalan away, is the Wigan Warriors. Fancy that. Who Fancy that. that. Who would have thought, thought that? that? Who <laughs> would have thought that? Uh, <laughs> anyway, we've done a prediction. <laughs> we're going to predict. We're going to predict. So wh wh where are you going with this one? I'm going Warriors 9 to 17. As have I. I've got exactly yeah. the same. So Something's with the exception scary. of the Huddersfield game, we're pretty much neck and neck this week. So yeah. I'm not going to be catching you too much. However, the fans form of going out on a limb, 66% are saying Catalan, and you're not going to believe this, I think a few Saints fans have infiltrated this one. 18 plus. That, for me, is a brave shout. That's an incredibly brave shout uh, from, from them. So that, that's where we are. That's how we are seeing it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, who's to say? So, massive amount of rugby league. You've got two games on Thursday, NRL in the morning, and, of course, uh, Leeds in the evening. You've then got two games on Friday, NRL in the morning, Broncos taking on my Rabbitohs, and then, of course, Warrington taking on Saints in the evening. And then you've got... NRL in the morning on Saturday, followed by 3.15, the Casper game, and then half past six, the Catalan game. It's a feast of rugby league. Outstanding. Outstanding. So make sure you get watching it. Uh, Greg, another hour and ten minutes have flown by. That's Absolutely raced by, sir, yeah. But before we go, it'd be a miss of me. Uh, I've just remembered we didn't do the half half time break in that. Before we go, we've got one more little graphic to just to, to show everybody, just to get everybody caught up on uh, on where we are. And that, of course, is the top performers of Super League. So what we'll do is we'll let the show play out with this, eh? Uh, so from right. myself and from Greg, uh, until this time next week, enjoy your rugby league. These are the top performers of the season so far. <laughs> 